All right. Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Ruth Croft before the 2022 Western States 100. How are you, Ruth? I'm doing well, thanks, Brian. And you? I'm doing all right. I think we're both resting up for a big weekend. Yep, sure are. So here you are, getting ready to run the Western States 100 again. After last year's race, you were a little uncertain about running 100 miles again. What brings you back to the distance? I knew that was going to be your first question. <laughs> of like, course. What are you doing here? <laughs> that is normal <laughs> response after a first 100. But yeah. uh, I don't think you should make any decisions or verbalize them straight after a race because a few people have called me out on that. They're like, what are you doing back here? Um, I think, like, yeah, as you said, like once it all kind of subsides, you, the old runner amnesia kicks in and you think of ways that you could do it better. And yeah, so that's essentially why I've come back. So what, what are some of those ways you think you could do better? Um, just the build up. I've changed the build up quite a bit. Well, I still kept the roadblock. Um, and then last year I felt like it was very, I had quite a limited time in the States, um, transitioning from the road, like recovering from UTA 50. Um, and then of course you've got to think about the taper on the other end. So I think I only had like three weeks. And so obviously I came over um, early to the States in the beginning of May. Yeah. Yeah. So last time you were only had those like three weeks. Was that three weeks of training or like a week of training and then two weeks of taper? Really? It was three weeks of training. Okay. But like I just felt like it was because I'd done road pretty much up until it was like middle of April or near the end of April. Mm. Um, and so to transition back to trails, it was just not enough time, I don't think. Yeah. So it's funny because that's like one of your – you pretty strong mountain runner as well and like you just didn't have enough of that you think in your legs I think going... yeah I just felt like that was one thing I could I could do better if I came back it was just uh, and that's what I've done in New Zealand like normally yeah I do the roadblock but this year I did a lot more kind of adventures and missions but also did a lot more trail as well as doing yeah. the road too and you, yeah. but you think you kept that that quite advantageous speed and and strength at speed maybe I hope so yeah we'll see we'll find out on Saturday <laughs> As you let last year's effort sink in, mm -hmm. like what positives, like what positive like memories do you have of that race? Uh, I think just like with my crew, like Alex Varner and David and David Thompson and Martin, like we just had fun. Like that was the that was the thing of the day. Like if they're having fun, I'm gonna have fun and, and not be a diva. And so that's what I remember. Like we, it was just a very positive experience from kind of start to finish. Probably minus the last like 30k. Yeah, yeah. which. Yeah. Given. It's manageable. It's yeah, not yeah. that many hours. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, that you, I don't know David, but the other two, Martin Geffery and uh, Alex Varner, two characters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're the sort of people, like, all, all three of them are what you want on your crew. Yeah. 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 So through 2021 and into 2022, you've had a really good stretch of running, at least looking from an outside in. Yeah. Does it feel that way? Like, um, To be honest, I, like, struggled a lot after States. Mm -hmm. I think it was end of September, kind of, until I felt normal again, like, physically and mentally wanting to race. Mm -hmm. um, and so then I did Les Templiers, and that was kind of a good, kind of, it was a bit later, and I felt ready to race by then. Yeah. yeah. And then I've been in New Zealand, and... We didn't have too many races because of COVID, but I squeezed in Kepler 60K yep. um, middle of January. And then after that, kind of races got shut down. And then I did three peaks in Dunedin, which was like a 55K kind of end of March. Yeah. And yeah. that was a more of a local It was a local race. race like, but, didn't taper. Kind of just went into it. But it felt strong. Yeah. yeah it felt good. Yeah, yeah. It was a fun event. Yeah. Nice. Um, what was your... You said you did a lot more adventuring going into this year's Western States. Do you have a favorite... Uh, Mission. Mission out in, I mean, you were on the South Island of uh, New Zealand the whole time. Yeah, so. It's pretty uh, epic territory. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, one of our favorite ones, probably, we did Kepler, and then there was a good weather window. So the next day, a group of us uh, pack raft over to Mida Peak, and then we hiked up Mida Peak and uh, pack raft out. Yeah, so it was probably our favorite. So yeah. good training and good times. Yeah, just good times. I think normally when I go back to New Zealand, I'm very quite focused on training. But this year it's been a lot more about just going out and having fun as well as still keeping that, keeping the training going too. It sounds like a, even a better balance this year in, in lots of regards. Yeah, totally. It's always a hard balance to find. But I think, yeah, this summer we definitely kind of nailed it. Yeah. So you were second here last year. And uh, yeah. do you think you can... Uh, be maybe atop that podium if you have the, if you have the right day obviously there's so many variables in play yeah it's like i don't know i second last year but it's it's a clean slate it's another year um obviously just want to take the experience from last year that i learned forward mm -hmm. but as you know it's 100 miles it's anyone's race it's just about for me doing doing my own thing um and doing all the little things right and then seeing how i feel at forest hill 
Nice. Yeah. So you said you changed up some of your preparation going to this year's Western States. Do you have any changes either mentally or tactically maybe going in, on race day? Um, I suppose, I think it's different psychologically. I was saying like going into it your second time because the first time you're quite oblivious. You don't really know what you're getting yourself into. And I think probably it's quite a nice position to be in. Um, but this year, I think, yeah, just mentally, I don't know. It's just been trying to, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of the times in my mind, you're trying to control the outcome, which is totally out of our control. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm just pretty relaxed and yeah, just looking for a fun day out on the trails. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with your, with your skill set, which again, you've like run some really stuff, fast stuff on the roads and that last 40 miles, if you go into it feeling good and yeah. ready to go, yeah, totally. you should be able to run. Yeah, I think if, well. if you haven't cooked yourself by Forest Hill, and I think that's where I kind of, the last 20K is where I dropped the ball a bit last year. Yeah. I think I kind of just checked out a bit mentally, and then so Martin said he'll be giving me a bit more tough love this year. Because that, that's, that's a possible, where, yeah. Yeah, you can easily lose or make up time in that last 20K. Um, awesome. Yeah. Well, have fun along the whole journey, and best of luck those last 20K. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Cheers.